Advice from the Creative Habit by Twyla Tharp. In order to be creative, you have to know how to prepare to be creative. It takes skill to bring something you've imagined into the world. It is developed through exercise, through repetition, through a blend of learning and reflection that's both painstaking and rewarding. It takes time. Skills get imprinted through action. Take classes, learn skills, and practice. Rituals of creative preparation. Using a ritual at the beginning of your creative process when you're in the most at peril of turning back, chickening out, giving up, or going the wrong way. The only criterion is this, make it easy on yourself. A ritual reminds you that you're doing the right thing without having to think too deeply or talking yourself into the creative process. Rituals can include lighting a candle, repeating a mantra, playing a certain song, drinking out of a certain cup, or wearing a certain outfit, etc. In starting the creative process, remember, there is a difference between a work's beginning and beginning to work. If it's hard to start at the beginning of a project, jump to the middle or another part you are inspired by, the beginning can come later. If you're not inspired, try scratching. Scratching for little ideas can lead to big ideas. Scratching can include conversations with others, looking through books for inspiration, being in nature, looking to your mentors, and window shopping. When you're scratching for an idea, you don't need to think ahead. You have to trust the unconscious rush and let it hurtle forward, unedited and unencumbered. Let it be awful and awkward and wrong. You can fix the results later. When beginning a creative endeavor, it's vital to know the difference between good planning and too much planning. Don't lock yourself into a predetermined course. There is an emotional lie to over planning. It creates a security blanket and lets you assume that you have things under control, that you're further along than you really are, and that you're home free when you haven't even walked out the door. Absolutely plan, but you never want the planning to inhibit the natural evolution of your work. The better you know the nuts and bolts of your craft, the more fully you can express your talents. Skill gives you the wherewithal to execute whatever occurs to you. The more skill you have, the more sophisticated and accomplished your ideas can be. With absolute skill comes absolute confidence. E.B. White said, Habitually creative people are prepared to be lucky. The key words are prepared and lucky. They're inseparable. You don't get lucky without preparation. And there's no sense in being prepared if you're not open to the possibility of a glorious incident. No matter how limited your resources, they're enough to get you started. 